Many parts on many vehicles need some sort of a coating process when you replace them. Could be an oxygen sensor, could even be a whole transmission. So on Toyotas, when you replace a transmission or a transmission computer, you have to put in what's called a compensation code for that particular transmission so it knows how to shift properly. So let's run through that process on this RAV4 right here. Okay, tools all hooked up, ignition's on, so let's go into scanner. And we're gonna pick the Toyota. Auto ID there. Okay, there's my vehicle, 2015 RAV4. And then that is inside the transmission. So let's just say that we replaced the transmission on this vehicle, uh, or we were about to replace the transmission on this vehicle. This is what we would want to do. So we can go in here under the AT code registration read and write procedure. Uh, it says, make sure you refer to shop manual. This function is used to input a compensation code and initialize the ECU after a transmission assembly or ECU has been replaced. You will have the following three options. Read the compensation code, retrieve a saved compensation code from the scanner, or manually enter the compensation code. So I click continue there. Then it's gonna tell me what each option does. So I'll just go through those really quick. Okay, you wanna make sure the vehicle is stopped, gear selector is in park, engine is off and the ignition switch is on. All those things are good, so we'll hit continue. And it says warning, as the files will be saved with a title that includes the date and time, it's recommended you keep your scanner updated with the correct date and time. So we'll just do that, we know that our time is correct. So it gives me the options. So before I were to replace anything on this vehicle, transmission wise, I'd wanna make sure I read the compensation code from the computer if I'm replacing the transmission. So we'll do that. We'll take that code out. It's gonna collect the information. Okay, here's your compensation code. It gives you a bunch of hexadecimal numbers. Do you wanna save this to the scanner? Yes, I do. Hit continue. It says warning, you're gonna, uh, you wanna write this down too uh, in case you have to manually enter it back into the transmission. So we're not really actually changing anything. I'm just showing you the process. So we're good there. Click continue. So here's what we're going to save. Is that correct? Yep, that's what was on the screen before. It was saved successfully. All right, so once I've saved it to the scan tool, then I'll go and do my repairs, replace the transmission, whatever I need to be doing. And then I'll need to retrieve that saved compensation code that got saved to the scanner and program it into the new uh, computer. So we'll click on that. And then which one do I want to read or write? I already practiced this once. They're both identical, but I'll just pick the newest one right there. You retrieve this file from the scanner memory. It, is that the one you want to write to the transmission? I sure do. Click continue. It wants to double confirm. Is that you're 100% sure this is what you want to do? So yep, I'm good with that. So hit correct, continue. And it's gonna verify a third time to make sure that this is really what you wanna do. Hit continue again. And it will write it to the transmission. It says now resetting memory. It's also gonna change all the adaptations that have been made with that transmission as well and reset them. Okay, resetting was completed, continue. It says note, after code reset, you have to road test the vehicle to allow the transmission control module to learn new values. Follow the instructions on the next screen. So make sure you're doing it in a safe environment. Make sure you observe all traffic laws, speed limits, etc. Warm up the engine. Then from a standstill, you're gonna to accelerate to the highest safe speed with the accelerator pedal about 15% or less. Keep the accelerator pedal steady. Repeat until shift shock no longer exists. Then from a standstill, accelerate to the highest safe speed with it open 25% uh, or more. Keep the accelerator pedal steady while driving the vehicle and do five to six until shift shock no longer exists. So that's just gonna rewrite any of the adaptations uh, for the shift points for the transmission. So let's say continue. And that's it. All you have to do is road test it to reset those values and your transmission is replaced. The codes are written and everything should function properly.